Hi, and welcome to this video of Dynamics 365 Talk, where I'll be talking about how I can add custom icons to a view. But before I dive in, my name is Dion Taylor. You can take a peek at my blog at d365goddess.com or just follow me on Twitter at d365goddess. So let's get started. The first thing that I wanted to do is actually show you what that end result is going to be. And you see here that we have a gender column and that's where we have the custom icons pop up. So it is tied to that particular field and a gender field is an option set here in my Dynamics 365 instance. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate here to advanced settings and then I'm going to navigate to my solutions area. From here, we can start, can create a new solution. So I'm just gonna click that button and I can start entering the name. So I'm just gonna be contact icon view and I could put in a version number, oops, as well. You can just go ahead and save that and the first thing I want to do is to actually add those icons to my solution. And I'm going to put them in the system as web resources. So I'm going to click on new here and then I can give them a name. I'm going to say, I'm going to have one as my female icon. And then as you can see here, you can put in what type that is. And that's a PNG format. And then I can choose my file. So you can see here, I have some different icons here, but I'm just gonna pick this female icon. Here we go. And then you can just hit save and publish. Okay, so that was our female icon. Let's add the male icon as well. Click that new button going to be male, male icon. And again, you can put in that type. It's a PNG. I can choose my file and I can hit save and then I can publish my male icon as well. Okay, so that's the first part of that. Now let's go ahead and add the actual JavaScript. So again, I'm going to click on new. And this is going to be my contact icon scripts. Contact icon scripts. And this is going to be a type of JavaScript. And then I'm going to put here my JavaScript. So. I'm going to put a link to my original article in this video as well. So you can go there and then you can copy and paste the JavaScript. So you can click OK from here. And again, you can save that and then you can go ahead and publish that script. OK, now what we want to do is we want to add the contact entity. Let's take a look. Where is my contact? Here it is. Let's go to views and we can add it to the active contact view. Let's just hit finish here to add it to our solution. So let's go into views open up our active context view and here it is. Oh. And we already have gender here. So I'm going to remove it real quick so you guys can see how I'm going to add that. I'm going to click on add columns and I'm looking for my gender field. Oops. It is as you can see this is an option set and now I'm going to go ahead 
and double click on that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find that web resource that I created earlier, which was my new context script. So I'm going to go ahead and type that or start to type that in. And as you can see, it fills it out automatically. Then my function name is display icon tooltip. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger as well. And now I can click OK and then save and close. Just give it a second here. And the only thing I still need to publish is the contact entity. So let's go ahead and do that and then let's take a look after this has published. All right, here we go. I'm just going to close that. And now I'm going to navigate back to my sales hub, back to my accounts. And I just added this to active contacts. And as you can see, here it is. Here is my, and if I now select a different one, value, you can see here that it just populates that icon next to the actual value. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and don't forget to come back next week for another video. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.